Okay, this is a third installment in the tax shield analysis. I didn't think it would take three videos, but I didn't want to go on and on. And I just saw that there's a boot camp on project finance. Oh, shoot, nobody's going to ever take my class anymore. That's too bad. I hope you consider it. Now, I'm just depressed about that stuff. I love me. I love talking to you, even though you don't talk back to me. Now, what I did was, uh, uh, in this, I made a lesson set on valuation and whack, and I'm going to talk about capital structure, beta on debt, and this one, which is, is the uh, 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 um, tax shield. This is the tax shield. I'll, I'll uh, summarize it a little better. I have to make it. And then I'm going to put the files we just talked about uh, down here and put our kind of a summary of our key points right in the, the website, and then you'll see the videos and get the lessons, okay? So there'll be a whole lesson set on these kind of mechanical adjustments. There again, I could say, well, uh, who cares about them? And I used to be like that. But just so you get rid of the issue and you don't have to waste time on this stupid thing and argue incessantly about things that really don't mean very much. Okay? So the final thing we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to go over here and we're going to put the talk about the, the adjustments we make. Here's what we really see. What we see is some companies. We see some real companies. Now, I made another thing. I wonder if all this Wall Street training crap, do they tell you how to really go and get data? Well, they assume you have Bloomberg or some crap like that so you can make more billionaires. Okay, now what you can do is go to this sheet that I have on the Google Drive, and on that Google Drive you go to a sheet and you uh, put your companies in, you put the Yahoo symbol and the ticker symbol, you, you might have seen it before, and then you get a whole bunch of statistics over time. This has got the Dow 30, and if you want to see, this is, if you want to see, for example, what the uh, uh, um, P-E ratio is, the using a, 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 it's taking a little time to calculate because it's got an enormous amount of data in it, really. It's got data on every company. You can kind of see trends in the P-E ratio. And I'm, I'm going to talk about, ooh, this company I love to moan about, which makes young children and then adults become addicted and it's got all these television stations that perpetuate the addiction and it makes a heck of a lot of it makes a heck of a good return on invested capital so we can we can look at the return on invested capital and look at trends in the return on invested capital and that's really not what I'm talking about right now so this Disney company they, when they charge their little fee for you for going on your rides, they're making a 24% return on, not equity, return on capital. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. And then we have all these methods for computing the cost of capital, but I'm going to go to the capital asset pricing one. But in that capital asset pricing model, we can get the equity beta, we can get the debt to capital and all that. So what I did, I'm closing this file right now, is I said, let's take a few comparative companies. And I said, well, let's, come, let's be creative about our comparative companies. And this is the, a, a sheet that says unlever and relever the beta. So I said... Our competitive companies or other companies that make 
you addicted to their stuff one way or the other. Like McDonald's makes you with the children with a happy meal. Starbucks uses coffee to make you addicted. Apple certainly makes you addicted. Amazon, there are no competitors. Google, I don't know, and Microsoft, you really don't have any options. So this is more like monopoly companies. And then this is the beta that you observe on the equity that will have other things to uh, uh, talk about and I've talked about in other videos. And then we have the gross, this is what we actually see, is we see the gross debt to capital and some of these are negative because there's more, I'm talking about net debt of course, I hope that that's not a difficult concept, that if you have cash you better take that out, that's going to be another small subject, okay, so these companies have more, uh, uh, and I Google, I estimated. And then, so we see the equity, so the equity is just one minus the debt, and this is, of course, the market uh, debt to capital. And then I'm going to assume a beta of debt, which is the whole next series of videos. Series, probably. And we've got a tax rate that we assume, and Apple and Starbucks, they pay really low taxes, you know, because they have the double Irish thing. And then you have the cost of debt, which I assumed was just the uh, 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 risk-free uh, uh, the, the risk uh, rate that we had from others. I just pressed Shift-Control-C, so I went to the red sheet to get the stuff, okay? And then, and then we can get the tax effect of the debt. Well, uh, um, this is where we're going to compute the net... Uh, uh, cost of capital. So the, the tax effect of the debt is, remember, we take the, the gross debt and we multiply that by the, the tax rate. And we're doing that to try to get our net, this for some reason why that does that, then this is the net uh, amount. And then we say, well, our equity capital is the amount we observe divided by one minus the, the debt. So we should get a little bit of higher equity capital, and that's our net number, and then we take one minus that, and we get our net debt. That's like the, the amount of the, that's like these two capital structures. That's where we started the whole thing. This two, these two capital structures on this page. This is the net one up here, and I put some formulas associated with this, and this is the gross one over here. And I put some formulas here, okay? And then we can get the computed uh, uh, beta on the, the unlevered uh, uh, company, which is the debt to capital multiplied by the gross debt, the cost of debt, not after taxes, plus the, uh, uh, the equity times the equity cost of capital. Where did I put the uh, equity cost of capital, excuse me, I have to first put the, the uh, KE, which is the, the risk-free rate with F4 plus the, the equity risk premium plus the, plus the beta on the equity that we see, okay, whoops. Uh. All right. I think I did that all right. Okay. And then the beta on the is the cost of equity times the net equity to capital plus the cost of debt times the net uh, uh, debt to capital, which, where did I put that? Oh, let me do it again. Cost of equity times the equity to capital plus the cost of debt times the debt to capital, okay? And then we get our unlevered beta for, uh, our unlevered cost of equity for all of these things. Now, this is really high, partly because I have a high risk-free rate, and I don't know why this first one, who is that? Oh, our Disney company seems to have a higher cost of capital than everybody else. And then we can get the average of this, Shouldn't, maybe we should make a uh, thing like alt equal that does that. 
average. So then we have our uh, that, but re what we really, ah, uh, no, 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 this is KE computed, which we really don't care, KU computed, and we can put KE computed. Actually, we could use, uh, and that's, I, uh, I just wasted a little bit of time, but that's the, 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 the equity times the, the equity to capital plus the debt beta times the net debt to capital, okay? So those are our different uh, costs of equity, okay? And then we... Uh, uh, cost of unlevered all equity. That's what I meant to say, unlevered cost of capital. And then we'll put the average for that, which is kind of a wide-ranging average. So maybe my whole theory, and it's about exactly equal to 1, OK? So then we can put our computed uh, uh, cost of, of equity, now our uh, 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 all equity, we could also do it like this, is just, of course, the the equity market risk premium times the beta plus the plus the risk-free uh, rate, okay? And then we, we get the same number. Now, what this, the problem is, then let's say our new company, and this is re-levering the beta, okay? Here, I should say we're re-levering or re-gearing, right? Uh, the beta at B E T A and computing whack. Okay, for our new company, on our new company, we said has a sixty percent debt, but this is this is gross, not net. So we have to do the same thing. We so I said, well, we have a tax effect. I should have put this uh, little title up here, shouldn't I? Okay. Okay. Um, that can, and then the uh, tax effect of the debt is just the tax rate multiplied by the debt to capital. That's what we did before. And then we put the net thing. It's exactly like what we did before, but it's, it's worth doing this. Divide it by 1 minus, minus the tax effect to get our net cost of capital. And then we put 1 minus this to get our equity cost of capital. So we just remember we got a kind of negative, uh, different one. And now we can compute the beta on the equity for our particular company, which is the unlevered beta minus the beta of the debt times the debt to capital, and we divide all of that by the equity to capital, but we use the net amount. And then the, this should say uh, cost of equity. We can get the cost of equity. We could do the same calculation, but let's be lazy. Let's just multiply this by the uh, 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 equity market risk premium and add the, the uh, risk-free rate. We could get it either way. All right, and then we can get our final uh, cost of capital. Now we can put our net amounts here, okay, and we can get that. That's our 100%. But when we use the gross amount, that's what we really use in the cost of capital. That's this, and that's this. That's what we really use. And then we put our gross uh, 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 gross cost. And that's our cost of equity, cost of debt, which I didn't do, did I? It's the, the computed, uh, 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 the beta on the debt times the, the debt, uh, the, the equity market risk premium plus the risk free rate, okay? And then we can get our, our cost of equity. And you notice 
Here is the whole thing. This is the whole idea of the video. The whole idea is to do this. We needed the net amount to do this. You could have probably done it with a different formula. And then we take this one times, of course, one minus the cost of debt to get our net cost. And then I'm pressing shift control P. This one we don't do. And then we multiply this times the the whack and shift control P and go down and press alternate equal and we get our overall cost of capital. All right, and that we can apply and prove that that all works. Okay, now you can go and start typing in your formulas and reconcile all your formulas. You can probably make five different formulas that work, but to review, you don't even turn the video off. To review, we started with our house, and we said the value of the house when the, the, the interest rate goes down on debt because we have a tax deduction on the interest when we didn't used to, the value better go up by the change in the, 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 the value of the uh, uh, tax shield. And then we said, okay, we can start to apply that, and we can try to apply that same idea when... We have a pre-tax case and an after-tax case, but unless we change the cost of capital, it doesn't work. And when we went through all of this, the real correct way was just to lower the cost of debt and reverse the cost of equity. That's the value to us. But when we observe it, we see the regular cost of debt. And when we use the same cost of equity for both, we got it to work. But remember here, we had to use the all equity cost of capital that we started with, and the WAC has a change in cost of capital. That's our big problem. Okay? And then we went and did the sensitivity tables, and then we uh, 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 just showed you how to re-lever and unlever the cost of equity, and I press shift control C, and we see where the everything comes from, and that is the end of my series of videos on the tax effect of debt. So